They are not psychic exactly, but people who read body language could be the next best thing. One such person who teaches the art and science of body language reading is Christian Chua. Chris right. Give us a few examples of some telltale body language signals, some common examples. Well, there are a few common um, emotions, and emotions are what uh, constitute the body language. So if you are fearful, the common ones will be sweating. And that's when you get the uh, term, um, you're hot under the collar. When you're nervous, you could even, uh, your lips starts to vibrate. These are very, very involuntary. It's not something you can control, like fear. Your heart beats faster. And uh, that's what makes body language useful because you can't control something that's very involuntary. Mm, so these are biological reactions. That's correct. Are, are there body language examples though that are more uh, that are more controllable? If a person goes for an interview, he's always asked to maintain eye contact. So if you are a nervous person, you tend to not look at the interviewer when you are being interviewed. So, but you can learn to look at the interviewer. So these are controllable. If you gesture a lot with your hands, and then some of your friends tell you, hey, you, you move too much with your hands. So during the interview, you might want to just tighten up and leave it on your lap. So that's controllable. Why is the grasp or the appreciation of body language reading principles important for people like the rest of us in our day-to-day -day activities? How can it benefit us? Well, what comes on top of my mind is that don't be uh, fooled by people who lie to you con people. I think, I think that would be the most uh, useful application. The other application would be to know how your colleagues or family members are feeling, whether they are down, hurt. They give you signs and you can really pick on that and make it, uh, use it for your advantage. Let's go through some of the more common emotions and what some of their unconscious body language manifestations might be. I'll give you a couple of uh, emotional uh, emotional states and you share with us what the, the the physical manifestation the unconscious physical manifestation of that emotional state right. might be all right let's talk about first nervousness you covered this briefly uh, a couple of minutes ago share with us more in depth now a person who is nervous but maybe does not want to show that he's nervous how, how might his body unconsciously react to his nervousness well for the listeners i think that what will benefit you is when you read people i just categorize it into two very large categories is that person looking comfortable or looking uncomfortable if the person is uncomfortable, like he's nervous or fearful, he starts making unnecessary movements like the touching of the nose, scratching of the itch which isn't there, picking up invisible lint from the shoulders, playing with the keys, shaking the legs, excessive eye movement and blinking. All these are signs of nervousness. Scratching of the head, playing with the cufflinks. Going back to the question of accuracy, is it possible if he were to scratch his head, the, the genuine reason could be really because his head feels itchy, that there is an itchy spot on the head, you know? Could you misinterpret that for nervousness? Definitely. So what we will do is we will read in cluster and it also must correspond to the question or the situation several seconds before that. So if I ask you a question, then I see the response, then I can say, possibly, that's a red flag. I remember what that question is, then I make you comfortable again, which means bring you back to the baseline, and maybe I'll repeat that question again, and I'll see if you react again in that manner. Uh, let's go on to the next emotion now, very common one, excitement. Someone's excited, um, but he maybe does not want to show he's excited, maybe you're discussing a business deal or something, you don't want to give too much away, but you're excited, or that person is excited, how would you be able to tell them? Okay, I assume the, the, the emotion of excitement is a positive excitement, okay. happy positive excitement. The most uh, explicit sign will be the rubbing of hands in anticipation. So that's something he's voluntarily showing you, I'm excited. So if it's a deal between two friends and say, wow, we're going to make a lot of money, mm. he's going to rub his hands. But if it's a deal between two parties which he doesn't want to show excitement, you look at the facial expression and you might see his eyebrow raise just a little bit in a micro of a second. Mm. So you've got to be very perceptive, you've got to be very observant. That's right. And also, if the pupils of the eye dilate, right. it becomes bigger. It shows that he's taking in more light and he is excited. Of course, this would be easier to read on a Caucasian rather than uh, an Asian because we have dark brown eyes right. and it's very difficult to read. Right, and smaller eyes as well. Yeah.